What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to do a little spectating analysis commentary on Sir Isaac versus Crab of a Familiar in a ranked match. So both of these guys are fairly highly ranked players. They're both over 1,700 rating. Um, and it looks like Sir Isaac has some kind of energy deck. Um, the Aether Pump might lead you to believe it's a structure deck, but Bombard makes you think it's a ranged deck, so we'll have to see. And Overdrive is a very popular scroll in energy right now because it makes oculus cannons have haste and it could also make those ether pumps and forges go like rapid fire and i feel like the game's not going to start for us so let's just rejoin it oh no it doesn't start yet or it does okay so no it didn't start because it didn't draw a scroll yet but we can see they're both rocking the esl heads um you get this head when you win a certain kind of esl tournament i have one of these heads uh, Sir Isaac's rocking the male version, and Crab Familiar is the woman version. And he top decks a Ekamaton on turn one. He goes first, that's a little bit of advantage. He goes for the Mulligan, and now he has a one drop to play, but not much to play afterwards. But a two drop spark is very good, especially if there's going to be something that Crab Familiar can play. It looks like he has a better turn one, so I think he's going to keep this hand, and then he can go Earthborn Keeper in the next turn, and then an Earthen Mirth on an Earthborn Keeper. Or a Ancestral Totem or a Brother of the Wolf. All those are possible combos. So I think this is a good hand for Crab of Familiar. But Sarazic will have the Spark for the Veteran of the Wild. So, you know, it's not going to be a, a perfect start for Crab Familiar unless he gets top deck like a two drop next turn. And Sarazic, we noticed he didn't play the Useless Contraption on turn one. Um, he'd rather save it because he doesn't really have like a straight curve up anyway, so he doesn't really need to play Scrolls yet. So it's really just his choice. And let's see, sacrifice the Ancestral Totem, because seeing that it's energy, Ancestral Totems are very weak to energy, it's just two health, um, sudden eruptions, thunder surges, sparks destroy, and Crab Familiar holds off on the Vetter of the Wild. So wisely does that, um, because there was where there was going to be a spark, but now Sir Isaac luckily top decks a Hired Smuggler, so that uh, Sir Isaac has a turn to play, he doesn't just have to. Uh, be wishing that Crab Familiar played a unit that he could spark. Sorry about the phone just rang. Um, early in the game right now, this would probably be a good time to just sacrifice the, the rallying. Um, or maybe... I'm not sure, but because he didn't play the Vetter last turn, and the Vetter didn't sur like survive like that, now he can't play the Earthborn Keeper this turn. So if I was if I was Crab Familiar, I probably would have played the Vetter last turn, even though there could have been a spark, but now Sir Isaac can easily go for a spark and possibly a useless contraption as well. Sacrifices the Blind Rage. Uh, it's tough to get rid of removal like that, especially against growth, but um, he'd rather have the creature in hand, which I can't blame him. And now Sir Isaac has control of the board, a nice 4 health wall, and the higher smuggler will draw him structures often. So Crowd Familiar only has two resources. Um, he's probably going to sacrifice the Ragged Wolf and play the Earthborn Keeper. Sacrifices the Rally. I could see why you want to keep the Ragged Wolf and plays the Earthborn Keeper right in the middle. So that is basically, he's basically telling Sir Isaac, uh, make a choice. Do you want to draw a scroll by hitting an idol or do you want to deal two damage to this Earthborn Keeper? Sir Isaac might not have to, um, so he makes the decision of drawing the scroll and he also puts down an Oculus Cannon so that the uh, Hire Smuggler is protected in case uh, Crowd Familiar plays a couple units to give this guy two attack. And Crowd Familiar is going with Gravehawk, something I like to do in my enchantment deck. Oftentimes you see Gravelocks and Earthen Mirths paired together, and he has both of those scrolls in his hand. And I assume that he'll get down. He plays the Ragdolf and the Gravehawk this turn. I guess he just wants to get more things on the board. And he surrounds this row from Sir Isaac. So this, he can't really move to this row until he can destroy the Oculus Cannon, or he gets like a, a Rumble or something. So the burn on the Earthborn Keeper is probably the turn right here, and that is rough for Crab Familiar. And then he also draws a Blind Rage, so the removal is high. And seeing as he's only at uh, four resources this turn, he'll probably sacrifice the God Hand and play one of the Fang Bears, which he does. So this uh, Ragdolf is very vulnerable, uh, it's going to die this turn. He could have put the Fang Bear in front to hopefully have both of them survive, but that's really risky against energy, so he wants to make sure this Relentless unit stays alive. And I think he also had an Earthen Mirth, so he wants to keep the Relentless unit around. 
and now he could go for o Oculus Cannon Overdrive, and it would take out either the Gravehawk or he could take out the Fang Bear. Um, or he can go with the Forge, but I think what he's thinking about is Oculus Cannon Overdrive right back here, so he can take down the Fang Bear. Uh, he does not draw a scroll because the High Spring Dot had an idle, but he does a lot of damage to Kravitz's board. And it'll be interesting to see what Crab Familiar does here. He could go for Earthen Mirth to take out this Oculus Cannon, but then he's really not doing much for himself. He just has to pray that uh, Sarazic doesn't have like a burn or something to destroy this. He pitches for scrolls, and he could, if he has Quakes in his deck, I don't know if he does. I don't think we've seen any yet, but he might be, as we saw God Hand, so this might be more late game growth deck. So maybe we could we could see a Fertile Soil and try to find like a Quake or something, because a Quake would deal, deal a lot of damage to this board. Structures, 2 health unit. Um, so we might see Fertile Soil on that Gravehawk, or we might see Fang Bear, or even an Earthen Mirth to destroy the Oculus Cannon. And this Oculus Cannon is going to keep on attacking, so this Middle middle Idol, you want to take down Middle Idol, um, but Sir Isaac will be taking it down very soon. And Crab Familiar plays a Striped Fang Bear on the bottom row. So Sir Isaac likes the removal, but he keeps the Forge, because that just strengthens his board control. Um, and now he has a choice between a Forge and an Aether Pump. You see Sir Isaac's running Tick Bombs. And Tick Bombs are pretty decent scrolls against energy, but against any other factions, they're not that good. And interesting, he plays the Forge back here, behind the Augustus. He's one of the guys that likes to protect his Forge. I personally like the Forges in the front row being defenders, but there's definitely um, people that like the strategy of putting them in the back. But with this Oculus Cannon kind of right in front of it, it's a little weird. And Crab Familiar is playing Builds of the Verdant. Um, Build of the Verdant is a pretty uh, good scroll against Energy because it has a ward. And it looks like Crop Familiar is not going the draw now with the Fertile Soil and try to build up later. He's going for he's going to try to take the board control now. He's going to play two units this turn. The uh, Vilda actually right in this row. I'm not sure why he wanted to put the Vilda right in this row. This Oculus Cannon is attacking. He just gave up a Vilda, I guess because he didn't want to give the Highest Wungler a free scroll. And the burn takes out the Kinfolk Brave. Um, interesting to note, he did, uh, Sir Isaac would rather destroy that than the Relentless Gravehawk. And you see he has an Automaton deck going here with a Scout Automaton, Echomatons. So, yeah. And Crab Familiar, now he wishes he had, a, like, a billion, like, attack increases, but one Earthen Mirth is unfortunately not even enough to destroy this Oculus Cannon if you put it on this Gravehawk. And this Fang Bear is not really doing much. So I think he's just gonna play another Fang Bear, um, probably on the top or the bottom row. Actually, he can move kind of in. We'll see. You can always put, like, your creatures in front of Oculus Cannons, but just hope that uh, the energy player doesn't have the scrolls to make the Oculus Cannon attack, like Bombard or, uh, or Overdrive. I do that sometimes. That's a very risky play that I usually only try to resort to if it's, like, my last resort. So, he'll be playing the Fang Bear this turn, and this Overdrive Oculus Cannon will be destroyed like, at the start of the next turn. So we won't have to worry about that anymore, but Star Isaac still has the board advantage, but not for long though, because Crab Familiar has two, has three Relentless units on the board, two of them with the magic four health against energy, and he has two Earthen Mirths in hand with a full board of Relentless units. So Star Isaac has to stay on his toes, and, but he has a lot of scrolls, Star Isaac. I think he's gonna start ramping up for more resources now. Maybe go for a double scout auto, or he might rather, uh, so he pumps up, and I assume he's going to want to play a scout on his own, maybe sacrifice the hired smuggler useless contraption. Sacrifices, what did he sacrifice? I'm not sure what he just sacrificed. I kind of missed it. I wish Spectate has something like a kind of log that you could see what happened, because I have no idea what he just sacrificed. Um, so yeah, scout automaton. So by do pumping the forge instead, it saves him a scroll, it's basically that's like a free gun automaton. But he could have put down probably a stronger creature, especially these guys with armor. Very good against growth. These guys have a lot of attack anyway, so it wouldn't make a huge deal. And Carl Familiar, I think he wants to keep his Earthen Mirths. But uh, seeing as he won't have really time to play both of them anyways, it might not be a wise decision. But he does keep both of them. And he has a Rallying, which does not do much for him right now. Yes, he could deal a little bit of damage. It wouldn't actually even kill his Scout Automaton, so I don't think he's going to rally this turn. Seems like he's just going to Ancestral Totem and hope things survive. Uh, now, since his Hired Smuggler is attacking, he just has to hope that um, his like Fang Bear up there survives. So, I suspect like an Ancestral Totem like down here somewhere 
and he moves like in with this fang bear and keeps this fang bear here and keeps the great pocket there and he hopes that uh, he can gut off a nice earthen mirth next turn there's a lot of relentless units attacking so uh, sir isaac will, will uh, see what he can do to stop this and he doesn't have removal in his hand so he pitches for scrolls and there he gets some removal machine chant will get him draw burn will give him a card and he could play something else in this turn with the machine chant, he could also play useless contraption so he could play useless contraption have four structures and then deal four damage to one of these uh fang bears so that might be the play useless contraption for protection somewhere up here and then a machine chant on like this fang bear or something and then he gets to draw a scroll if he hits like the middle idol or something and takes on middle idol or he can go with the ether pump but ether pump would help a lot for his growth but it takes a little while to go off especially if he doesn't have an overdrive in hand he could go for just a burn so he goes for a machine chant I'm not sure why he machine chants without putting down the useless contraption first. Maybe that was a little misplay. Maybe they're gonna like say something about it. Can anybody tell me why he doesn't want to put down the bear? Um. And he puts down the uh, useless contraption in there. Sorry about this, guys. Uh. So I think it was a little bit of a misplay to not play the useless contraption first, because then, I mean, at the very least, you're dealing two damage to this Greyhawk. So it's a wasted two damage or a wasted scroll if you hit an idol. And now Crab Familiar can actually make some plays. So because this Ancestral Totem is up, the Ragwolf has two attack. So he puts that there, and he might go for a uh, Earthen Mirth on this. So now he's going to clear that row. Um, so he clears... Oh, okay. So he does. He instead clears the row of attacking units. Probably the better play. He's right, um, but he is still vulnerable to this Oculus Cannon if he has like. But nothing's really on this row that's too important for him to get rid of right now. So it looks like Craft Miller is push, pushing his way back into this game. Sir Isaac structures were not enough to combat growth, and uh, Sir Isaac uh, might go with it. Just he probably he probably wants to burn this uh, Gravehawk because seeing as like. Rallying is a card in Crab Familiar's deck. He wants to get rid of that. And he plays a Scout Armaton, so now this Fang Bear is going to go down to 2 health. And this already moved, I think. If it didn't move, I would I would rather move it down to destroy the Ancestral Totem. Because I didn't see any Thunder Surges or uh, Sun Eruptions in Sir Isaac's uh, hand or deck yet. So I'm not sure if he plays those. If he does, though, that's maybe why he wants to have as many things at 2 health as possible. So now Crab Familiar's turn. If he rallies, he doesn't have enough resources to play something else in Rally. And rallying would not do him too much good right now because the Fang Bear, there's no units on Star Isaac's uh, side of the board, so the Fang Bear only has two attack. And it wouldn't even be able to take on the Sporge. So I think this is a turn where he just puts down units. I don't think you put down the Earthen Mirth in advance because then the, the thing just gets destroyed by removal, like just like in an instant versus energy. So he's probably just going to play a Ranger and a Vetter and hopefully things survive and he'll have more resources for next turn where he can go with like a Rally and something or something else. And Sir Isaac will be spawning a 4 attack uh, Gun Automaton. So that's good for him. And looking at the card advantage and resource stuff going on right now, uh, oh, he rallies. Mm, I don't think that's the right play to do there. Rally right there, it really doesn't accomplish much. Destroys an Oculus Cannon, and you don't get anything to put on the board. So Isaac pitches for scrolls, and he can have a big bombard play there right now, and it looks like he will. So we can just go, and he goes with the Replicaton, and the bombard, and that is a board clear. I don't think Crowd Familiar's rally last turn was a wise rally, because it didn't really accomplish much. And like I was saying about card and card advantage, board, the three things you want to have in scrolls: card advantage, board advantage, and resource advantage. And right now, Sir Isaac is leading all three. I guess the card advantage is the same, but the other two he's leading. So Sir Isaac would really have to mess up to lose this game. Because we haven't even we haven't seen any quakes in Crowd Familiar's deck, so there's not much of a chance he can come back. But now he's starting to ramp up and plays a Kinfolk Ranger behind the Brother of the Wolf. People love the four health because it protects you from veterans and burns. But in like against a deck that doesn't have veterans, sometimes you don't need the four health unit in front. 
So it's just interesting to know that's who does. And he's going to go for another Bombard play this turn, it looks like Sir Isaac's going to do. So he puts down the Oculus Cannon, and the Bombard will deal a bunch of damage. He'll actually be able to take down a couple idols. Will he actually... He's almost able to win the game. Very close. He actually may have been able to win the... No, he wasn't able. He's, he would have been a couple damage off. But... That used at least two of the Bombards from Sir Isaac. I think that was only two Bombards. I don't think he sacrificed the earlier Bombard. And that will be it for Crab Familiar. He realizes he can't come back in the game. And that will be that. So, I know I haven't done many of these. Uh, I wish you could see the rating loss and rating, like the rating increase and decrease from spectating. You can't right now. But, whatever. So, I haven't done many of these spectate videos, and I actually have to try to do this more because um, I'm going to be doing some spectate casting, or I have to commentate over the plays, uh, very soon uh, for something very important in a very important tournament. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say anything about it, so I will hold off. Uh, you, probably know what, you probably know what's going on, and so yeah getting good practice here and it's i know probably like guys like smogan like you check out the badger guild youtube channel he probably does better casting than me but i'm trying to get better at it and um maybe really focus on the match so thank you all for watching like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content like this and you know what i just noticed this video is being uh posted after i think that the tournament is being announced i'll just say um you should all know that there is the king of the beta tournament um it's a uh, small invitational scrolls tournament uh, of the best scrolls players um from beta and i will be playing in it and i will also be helping cast it so stay tuned for that everybody and uh and that'll be it for today's video so like it if you enjoyed i might not have that many videos coming up the next like week so don't be alarmed if you don't see that much stuff um so yeah, but don't worry. I'll have plenty of stuff to come up before release and then I'll try to have I'll try to make it big for release. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.